15 things you didn't know about Will I Am. Welcome to ALUX.com, the place where future billionaires come to get informed. Hello ALUXers and welcome to another exciting original video presented by ALUX.com. Today we're revealing some interesting and surprising facts about the singer, producer, entrepreneur, and creative genius, Will I Am. Will I Am was born William James Adams on March 15, 1975, in Los Angeles, California. He lived in a poor area with a single mother, and he started using music as an outlet from a very early age. He met future Black Eyed Peas member Alan Pineda in high school, and they formed a rap group called At Ban Clan with a few other classmates. They were signed to Easy es Ruthless Records label, but were dropped following Easy es death in 1995. This led Will to take the group in a new direction, and the Black Eyed Peas was formed. Their debut album Behind the Front was released in 1998. After Fergie joined the band, their popularity soared. Although Will I Am is perhaps best known for his role in the Black Eyed Peas, he's also a solo artist, producer, an actor, inventor, and a judge on the UK version of The Voice, among many other things. If you're new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and follow us on Instagram at Alux. We are inspired by Will I Am's versatility, ambition, creativity, and talent. So, let's take a closer look at this artist with the 15 things you didn't know about Will I Am. Number 1. He was in the Black Eyed Pods before the Black Eyed Peas. After Easy es tragic death from AIDS in 1995, Will's rap group At Band Clan was released from their record label, and Will decided to change the group's name. The group decided on the Black Eyed Pods, and at the time it was comprised of Will I Am, Taboo, and Apple the App. In 1997, they changed the name to the Black Eyed Peas and were signed to Interscope Records in 1998. Number 2. His was the first song to be played on Mars. The first song ever played on Mars was Will I Am's song Reach for the Stars, when NASA's Curiosity rover landed on the planet in 2012. When a recording was returned from the rover, Will listened to it with a live audience at NASA in Pasadena, California. Number 3. He has a foundation called I Am Angel. In 2009, Will created the I Am Angel Foundation with the goal of transforming lives through education, inspiration, and opportunity. The foundation provides a college preparation and scholarships to low-income students who struggle with a lack of resources and opportunity. He said he's not encouraging all kids to grow up to be musicians. He wants to inspire the next Bill Gates as well. Number 4. He introduced his I Am Fashion Line in 2005. Before his music career took off, he took a few classes at the Fashion Institute of Design and Merchandising in Los Angeles. In 2001, Will started designing for his own clothing line called I Am, and the line officially debuted at the 2005 Magic Apparel trade show in Las Vegas. In 2007, he partnered up with Blue Holdings to create an exclusive denim line, but decided to go in another direction. Blue Holdings is currently suing him for $2 million for allegedly not holding up his end of their agreement. Number 5. He is the only coach to have appeared in all five seasons of The Voice UK. Will has appeared as a coach on every season of the UK version of The Voice, a total of six seasons, but he's only been the winning coach just one time. He's the only coach to have appeared on all five seasons since Tom Jones took off one season in 2016. Other coaches of the show have included Jennifer Hudson, Jesse J, Boy George, Kylie Minogue, and Rita Ora. He's also acted as a judge on the Australian version of the show as well. Number 6. He used to go by the name Will 1X. We've mentioned a few times that Will's first band was called At Ban Clan, but what we haven't mentioned yet is the name that he went by as a part of that band. In high school and in the early part of his music career, Will I Am was referred to as Will 1X. When the name of the band changed, so did Will 1X's, and since that time, he's been known as Will I Am. Number 7. He was working with Michael Jackson at the time of his death. In 2006, Michael Jackson asked Will I Am to help him with the production and recording of his new album. Will worked with him on the album from 2006 until Jackson's sudden death in 2009. After his death, Will announced that none of the recordings they had been working on would ever be released. But some remixes he had worked on with Michael for his Thriller 25 anniversary album were released in 2008. 
Fergie wasn't his first choice for the Black Eyed Peas. In the early 2000s, Will wanted to expand the potential for the Black Eyed Peas, and he thought the best way to do this was by adding a female artist. He personally asked Nicole Scherzinger to join the group, but she declined in order to stick with the Pussycat Dolls, who exploded in popularity shortly thereafter. Then, Will asked Fergie to join the group, and their 2003 album Ella Funk took the group to a whole new level. Number 9. He won a Grammy for a music video he made for Barack Obama. In 2008, Will I Am produced a song called Yes We Can to promote Barack Obama's election campaign for U.S. President. The song is comprised entirely of quotes by Obama, performed by various singers and actors, including Common, John Legend, Scarlett Johansson, and Nicole Scherzinger. Will I Am won a Grammy for the music video he produced for the song, which was directed by Bob Dylan's son, Jesse Dylan. Number 10. He created a $1 million custom car. Will I Am has a love of luxury vehicles. In fact, in 2012, he even launched his own car customization company called I Am Auto, but he seems to have abandoned that project for now. His car collection includes a McLaren MP4, Bentley Continental GT, a 1959 Corvette, and a highly customized Tesla Roadster S. He also likes to design his own custom cars. One example is a light blue futuristic design that he worked on with the famous West Coast Customs shop to create. They built the body from scratch and included a Corvette drivetrain. Just about everything on the interior of the car is operated through an iPad, including the air conditioning, door locks, lights, and more. The car cost him a total of $1 million. If you'd like to check out some other cars in that league, click in the upper right hand corner to watch our video of the top 10 most expensive cars in the world. Number 11. His net worth is $75 million. Will I Am never seems to stop working, and his bank account reflects that. His current net worth is estimated to be $75 million. His contract with The Voice costs the network several million dollars per year alone. It doesn't matter if you like his music or not. Will I Am has used the platform he created through music to become an investor in hot startups and solidify a brand for himself. We're expecting his network to spike up in the following years. Number 12. He surprised several family members with new houses. In 2013, Will got to fulfill one of his lifelong dreams when he returned to his hometown and surprised his grandmother with a new house that was completely paid off. He told her that he was taking her to dinner at a friend's house, but when they got there, the house was empty and he told her he bought it for her. Then he went on a walk in the neighborhood with his aunt and said, Do you like that blue house? I hope so, because it's yours. He also bought his mother, uncle, and brother houses as well. Number 13. He was a co-founder of Beats by Dre. Jimmy Lovine, the music producer who was behind the creation of Beats by Dre, gave Will I Am credit for giving him the idea for the company when he told him that the music industry needed to be more focused on creating hardware. When he teamed up with Dre, he also brought Will I Am in on the ground floor. Will's exact investment in the company is unknown, but he definitely got a big payday when Beats was bought by Apple in 2014 for $3 billion. Even if he owned just 1%, he would have received $30 million, but sources speculate he owned much more than that. Number 14. He has a scar on his knuckles from his X-Men role. Will I Am made a big screen debut as John Wraith in the 2009 movie X-Men Origins, and he has a constant reminder of this experience on his knuckles. He got a small scar on his hand that he got when acting in his very first fight scene. He said he missed his mark, accidentally hit the camera, smashed the lens, and cut his hand. Number 15. He helped to write a Marvel comic book series featuring the Black Eyed Peas. In 2017, Marvel introduced the first issue of Masters of the Sun, the comic book series that was co-written by Will I Am and Benjamin Jackendolph. The books feature the Black Eyed Peas as a hip-hop group from East LA who battle an ancient alien god and turn drug dealers into zombies. Now that you've learned more about Will I Am, do you think he should focus more on his music career or his other interests? Let us know what you think in the comments. Still here? Of course you are. Here's a bonus fact just for you. For someone who's lived in the public eye for so long, Will I Am is extremely private about his personal life. 
In his own words, he says he's just too busy with work for love. Fans have long speculated if the artist is gay since he never seems to have a lady in his life. He's also been a longtime advocate for gay marriage rights, saying, People should be able to marry and be with who they want, and let's focus on the real issues, which are education, health, and all things that kill people. Well, Will, we couldn't have said it better ourselves. Thank you for spending some time with us, a Luxers. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpicked these videos, which we recommend you watch next. Thank you for being an Aluxer, and we'll see you back tomorrow.